The magnification of an image is the size of the image compared to the real size of the object. In this diagram, you can see that the magnifying glass has magnified an image of what's in the petri dish. Even though the image is magnified, the size of the actual object hasn't changed. High magnifications can let us see things that we can't see with our naked eye. The resolution of an image is the smallest distance between two separate points that can be seen as two different points. Have a look at this series of images. So at high resolution, we can see quite a lot of detail in our simple diagram, but at a low resolution, it's a lot less clear what we're looking at. As the resolution decreases, we see a lot less detail. You need to be able to explain the difference between magnification and resolution. So if we do want to look at cells like these in more detail, what equipment can we use? Scientists use microscopes to magnify objects so that they can see them in more detail. These objects could be cells or tissue samples, small insects, basically anything that's difficult to look at in detail without the use of special tools. Different microscopes have different resolutions. Here's a simple diagram of a microscope. Our specimen will sit here and we can look at it through the eyepiece. This part of the microscope contains magnifying lenses, which produce a larger image, allowing us to look at small objects in detail. We can use an equation to calculate the magnification of an image. And here is the equation. So magnification equals image size divided by actual size. For example, if we were to look at an ant through the microscope, this would be the image size. In this case, it is 50 millimeters. This isn't the actual size of the ant. The actual size when placed underneath the microscope is actually five millimeters. The image size is larger because it has been magnified. You don't need to know the exact length 5 mm and 50 mm for the exam. This is just an example. So how can we rearrange this equation if we're missing one of the parts? We can rearrange this equation using a formula triangle. So we know our equation for magnification equals image size divided by actual size. Let's pop each of these elements into the formula triangle. So the image size goes at the top of the triangle and then this line here is like the dividing line. Underneath we have magnification and actual size and a multiplication sign here. This will all make sense in a moment. So first, before using this, you want to make sure that your image size and the actual size have been put into the same units. For example, micrometers or millimeters. Magnification has no units because it's a ratio. So this equation can be rearranged just by putting your hand over the part that's missing. So for example, if we are missing magnification, we can find this out by dividing the image size by the actual size. If actual size is missing, then we just divide image size by magnification. And if we are missing the image size, all we need to do is magnification multiplied by the actual size. You should be able to carry out calculations involving magnification, actual size and image size too. So how can we use this equation in practice? The width of an animal cell when magnified is 40 millimeters. The actual width of this cell is 20 micrometers. Calculate the magnification. So here's the image of our animal cell when it's been magnified. The first thing we want to do is ensure that the units are the same. So our image size is 40 millimeters, but the actual size of the cell is 20 micrometers. Because one millimeter equals 1000 micrometers, to find out the actual size of the cell in millimeters, we do 20 divided by 1000, which gives us 0.02 millimeters. You can change either of these units as long as they both end up being the same. For your exam, you need to be able to convert between centi, milli, micro, and nano units. Okay, so now the units are the same, what's the next step? Now we need to insert widths into the formula to calculate the magnification. So a quick reminder of that equation, that magnification equals image size divided by actual size. So for this practice, we will do 40 divided by 0.02, which equals 2000. Remember that there are no units for magnification because it's a ratio. However, we usually put a multiplication sign in front of the value to show that the image has been multiplied by this amount. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, Head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun 
with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.